Yo, what is up, y'all? King Goge Fan 2002 back at it with another video. And yes, we are going to be getting into another edition of the Devious Kaiju series. But this time around, this video is going to be shorter because I don't feel like doing another 10 minute bird on like video. And it's just going to burn me out again. And yeah, bro, I ain't going to lie to y'all, bro. That video had me looking like the Popeyes worker or Jimmy Butler after. A game five against the Lakers or some shit like that but, but yes without further ado let's get into it so before we really begin let me just warn y'all that this is probably one of if not the worst violations of a kaiju ever documented in a century man like this is just astronomically bad so the reason I'm adding this monster to the kaiju menace senate yes I'm calling it that now is because he ran the fade with an ultra three times damn near unscathed and had to make him retreat twice and the other thing being the main topic of this video so let's talk about Doragori really quickly so we get to the first fight with Ultraman Ace and Doragori and they seem pretty evenly matched and then Ace sent him away I don't know how but he was on some Wizards of Waverly play shit and just teleports him away so then we get into the meat and potatoes of the segment and we get into the second fight which is the jumping of Ultraman Ace and cuz what really had me fucked up the most was that super i had my boy ace getting jumped by a gothic bipedal moth and a sentient jelly bean man like come on bro so there's one thing in specific that i want to point out in this part of the battle and just remember this please remember this while dishing out a mean case of the beast to ace dorgory had my boy ace wrapped up and metron jr bumped into him on accident please keep that in mind please so then out of nowhere, Marucci appears on some random shit and then it's looking like it's about to be a three on one against my boy Ace. And of course they start giving him that dry treatment. But then peep this, same scenario, Ace is in the middle, but then he moves out of the way of Marucci's attack and then Marucci bumps into Dorgori. And by God, I don't know what it was, but that boy Dorgori just started tweaking now and gave Marucci some dirty work. Ain't even give my nigga time to apologize. He just straight up booed him right to the ground, took him to Six Flags, and then dropped him on his neck, leaving him paralyzed. And then the worst part, Dorgori walks over to him and then says, Your life is nothing. You serve zero purpose. Proceeding to rip his jaw completely off his body. Then he takes his leg to go with it too. Oh nah bruh, like come on man. Dorgory was on some Mortal Kombat timing with this shit bro. Bruh really performed a dissection with his bare hands and looked like he was delighted while doing it. I'm sick. Blood looked like a fat kid at a party going in for his fifth cupcake. So after that alien Metron Jr. and Dorgory act like nothing happened and continue to jump ace, not even paying any mind to what happened. I feel bad for Marochi and all three of his fans. But on a quick bonus, another thing that rubs me the wrong way about Dorgori is his damn roar. Just listen to this, y'all. Ugh, bruh. Like, why he sound like Gabra gargling brown Listerine at 8 a.m. in the morning, bro? Just gross. But anyways, Ace picks up the W over Metron Jr. and Dorgori in brutal fashion, might I add. And then that's the end of that. But there's one more thing that I want to highlight in this video, and that's Dorgori's appearance in Mebius. So him and Mebius are running a fade, and just look at this, man. Pause, bro. Like, why was he so eager to jump on Mebius like that, man? Looking like he wanted to give him a meat meal special. But anywho, Dorgori tries to do the same thing to Mebius that he did to Marushi, and rip his face right off. What is wrong with this man, bro? Man, oh man, Dorgori is such a demon. He's going right into the Kaiju Menace Senate, bro. So, actually, technically, he's a Choju, but, uh, you know, people still will call him a Kaiju regardless. So, yes, that is it. That is the end of this video. Hope y'all enjoyed this one. We got some more devious things to come up next. But before we get into the devious stuff, we are going to be getting into some frauds. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace.